Welcome back to Crypto Chester. I'm here today to give you a Bitcoin update. We're going to be starting off with Bitcoin here on the short term time frame, then moving across to the macro to finish us off. We're also going to be going through some very key indicators and very important trading patterns that are coming up on the charts at the moment that we need to be looking at to see where the price is going to be reactive from I'm going to be starting off the video here with a giveaway guys remember you entered the giveaway by commenting and liking the last video so the winner of, of the video for the giveaway from the last video is going to be simon well done simon you have won one week on the wad machine if you guys did want to enter this enter this giveaway drop a comment down below and leave a like on the video and you'll be entered in starting off with bitcoin here on the short term time frame very interesting stuff here because obviously we did see a new bear market low for Bitcoin down at around 15,430 there. Now, from there, we have just kind of propelled up to the upside, right? We have a confirmed higher low here. Very interesting stuff. And from there, it's been quite a progressive uptrend, okay? I'm quite surprised at how well this is trending up at the moment. But to be honest with you, it's a bit too good to be true right now. It is a bit too good to be true. And the reasoning for this is, is because of the whole FTX situation. And we've also got Genesis as well. Let me jump to that on Twitter so you guys can see that. You can see we've got Genesis that are about to file for bankruptcy if they don't get, I think it's like a billion dollars in an emergency loan or something along the lines of that. It's absolutely crazy. We've also got the SBF saga still ongoing. Apparently he's going to have to appear in court on, the, on February the 2nd here. So you can imagine how long that is. It's like literally like, over probably a month and yeah nearly a month away right a month and a half away or something maybe two months <laughs> yeah so quite a long way away um so this is basically going to affect the crypto markets for quite a long time so in in terms of referencing the uptrend that we were just talking about there i don't think this is going to continue and just go all the way to the moon okay the highest that i think this is probably going to be ending and end up going is going to be around seventeen thousand five hundred. and my reasoning for this is guys as you can see we've got a measure move coming up like so this is going to be the measure move we're going to drag that up to the breakout scenario that we have seen here from around sixteen thousand eight hundred and twenty one. from there you can see the measure move is up to around seventeen thousand five hundred ish that sort of area you can see in terms of percentages if you are long right now you could be looking for around 4.14% to the upside. That is on the basis that we keep going up right now. And this has to happen fairly fast, okay? The reasoning for this is because on the daily, guys, I will get to the daily, we're at a very crucial resistance point. I'm talking this area is horrific, okay? This is horrific for a dump all the way down to literally around 16K or something, something along the lines of that. So we will get to that very, very shortly. But this is what I'm looking at for the short-term time frame right now. Not really liking the idea of trading this right now. It's just a bit too, it's it's just a bit too dirty. I'm following a few indicators right now and a few strategies that I have. But right now, in terms of trading this specific pattern, I'm not liking the look of it. Okay, everyone's extremely bullish right now because we've got a weekly bullish divergence coming through. But um, it's it's just it's it's too good to be true. And considering the state of the world markets right now, just about to go into a major major recession across the world. It's just not wise to be um, jumping into longs right now, in my opinion, right? Um, it's just that the risk reward scenario is not there. Now, in terms of the RSI for the short term time frame here, you can see we have pretty much got to that oversold, sorry, overbought sort of level there on the top side. And we do have a bearish divergence forming, okay? What I mean by that, guys, is you can see we've created a top here, but we haven't broke the top in terms of the high on the RSI. So this essentially means that we're due some downside this is a bearish divergence this usually means that we do have a reversal in the price now if the price is going to reverse right here right now we're going to be looking for a bounce point on the price action channel around 16,800 if that doesn't hold then we can be looking at a trend line break on this chart here and that's going to be around yeah 16,800 that sort of area to be looking out for that this is the level of support at the moment that we're working with if we do come down and we break this level of support here at around 16,000 16,900 if we break that and then we break the um the mtf uh, the multi-term time frame um, indicator that we do use here for signals. If we do break that, we will get a short signal here on the premium scout package. So well done to all the premium members. You're going to get a nice little short signal if this does happen. And the move that we could be looking for here will be something along the lines of this in terms of a measure move, guys. Might not be as vertical as that. I mean, as slanted as that. But it will still be a pretty decent move to the downside around 2%. Something along the lines of that. So yeah, this is sort of what we're going to be looking for around 1.5% if we do see that break to the downside coming through. And at this point in time, guys with everything going on on twitter it is it's pretty likely that some news will come out and the and the price of bitcoin will dump okay so just be aware for that and vice versa it could still pump um if we do see some positive news right so back to the charts for a second 
you can see this is sort of what we're working for to the downside that's going to be the short term time frame trade that i'm looking for here moving across to the midterm time frame now guys because again we're at a very very interesting point here let's get rid of the macd for a second bring that down you can see we're at a very interesting point if we're using the volume weighted atr bands as a reference here that's the volume weighted average true range guys set across multiple time frames here this is where it gets interesting because you can see we've cleared the 30 minute we've cleared the 60 minute so it is looking bullish right now we've seen a candle body close above the 60 minute um above the 60 minute volume waste atr band on the hourly which is very 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 interesting because now we're currently below that we have just seen um an hourly candle close below it which does technically mean bearish momentum is coming we have tested this volume waste atr band for resistance and likelihood of us coming down now and smashing down to the 17k level is extremely likely, okay? 17k right now is going to be the pivot point that we're going to be looking for. If we are going to bounce from that, there could be a little move and that would basically indicate continuation of this micro uptrend right now. But what I'm sort of looking for, I'm looking for the break to the downside, as I was just saying there, for this potential short position. So this is, oh, look, we're literally dumping as we're talking. So yeah, this is sort of what I'm looking for here on the on the on the midterm time frame, and if we do come down and we lose the 30 minute volume weight ATR band as well, that's gonna be another level of confirmation for this short. Again, guys, another point of confirmation we need to be looking for there is gonna be the Fibonacci retracement. The Fibonacci retracement right now that we're looking for is the 0 0.236, as you can see in the corner here, 0 0.236, and the price for that right now is currently sat at around 16,900. So the areas that I'm looking for for a big juice Juicy short, because you know why we're here. We're here to make money, guys. A big juicy short from 16,911 all the way down easily to 16,700. That's going to be an easy target. And then from there, you can see the measure move is down to 16,500. So there's going to be a few take profits along the way that we can be looking for when we are shorting this asset. In terms of the VPVR, the, the volume profile visible range, the, um, the point of control is actually down at around 16,850 which is very interesting stuff as well there because, as you can see, it is moving right now. But yeah, 16,870, that area is going to be very crucial because it does line up with our short position as well if we do break that level of support that we're talking about here, right? Um, so yeah, definitely a few things to be looking out for there on Bitcoin here on the midterm. I do just want to say, guys, the DMX, the Directional Movement Index Indicator, you know I love this little bad boy here. Let's jump to the four hour because this is what we're referencing. You can see the ADX has actually climbed pretty nicely, okay? It's climbed pretty nicely. 27.2 the crossover the bullish crossover that we did have the adx was at around 24 so not the, not the strongest level of confirmation that we're looking for because we know the crucial points that we look for on this indicator is 20 and 25 and if we do get the crossover and the adx above 25 we know that's the confirmation of a really strong uptrend so this basically says we, we we're due an uptrend when we had the crossover but it wasn't as strong as what it could have been okay and this is probably what we're going to see now in terms of that resistance for this uptrend basically fizzling out and coming down for another dump to the downside okay in terms of the RSI here on the midterm time frame, we are overextended as well. We need a sell-off, guys. We need a retracement, okay? This is probably going to retrace us down to around 61.7. Whether that's sideways action or it is going to be a dump down to 16.5, who knows at this time. We know that we're ready to pull the trigger when the time is right for that lovely, juicy mango short position for you there, Phoenix. Um, let's move on to... Um, to the longer term time frame for Bitcoin because this is the crucial area that I wanted to talk to you guys about and this is very very important before we do that we've got a telegram community guys jump to the crypto chester community the link is in the description it might even pop up on the right hand side of the screen now if I can get my timings right but yeah jump to the community it's lovely it's pop and we've got loads of people in there we're doing some really really cool stuff we're gonna be doing a trading challenge very soon as well so make sure you jump to that 282 members no scammers in there we've got loads and loads and loads of mods guys loads of trading stuff so make sure you jump to that and um, and join the family the CC gang family but back to the longer term time frame for now you can see what we're working with guys look at this look at this blue box zone right Look at the price action channel. This is crucial, crucial stuff. The reasoning for this is, guys, is because every single time, I'll start with one thing, every single time that we do see a significant dump for Bitcoin, when we come up to the price action channel, as you can see here, we usually have a strong test, okay? We usually have a strong test to the opposite way. So, for example, massive, massive dump to the downside. We come up, test the price action channel, bang it back down, okay? That's one 
example there. Let's go up again. Massive dump to the downside. Come up, test the price action channel, dump to the downside. And these dumps, they are not small, guys. They're not small. They're like 5 6% to the downside, okay? And again, come up, test the price action channel, dump to the downside. Let's, let's find another big move here. If... On the basis that we do see that the candle actually explode through the price action channel and get a candle to close inside of it or above it, that is um that's confirmation that we're not going to reject. But you can see when we do get the candle body closed below it, we usually see that rejection coming through, especially after a really big move. So um so this is why I want you guys to be cautious right now. Massive move to the downside coming up, having a little look, and then rejection again. Move to the downside coming through. Massive pump to the upside coming down. Test of the price action channel, bouncing back up again, okay? So you can see how well this works continuously, guys. You can see how well this works. Even if it is small moves, we always see some sort of rejection, okay? So let's jump to the live price right now because I want to show you guys where we're at and the possibility of us actually dumping it. You can, you can see that we've got this area. It's just so... Too good to be true right now to explode all the way up. I really don't think that we're going to be coming up to 18.1 or anything like that. The reason why I'm saying that is this candle here. But what I would say, the most likely scenario is a dump down to around 16.7, 16.5. These are the areas that I am looking for for the retracement for Bitcoin. So please be aware. Don't be too bullish right now. But um, please be aware. We usually see literally all the time, a nice big move to the downside after seeing um, after seeing basically a rejection from this dump. Okay, so please be aware for that, guys. And also, you can see this gray box zone here. This is from previous bull runs, and you can see the resistance that we do get off this bad boy at the top side here. So it's very, very unlikely that we're just going to explode all the way through it. So, um, so please, please, please be aware for this, guys. I do expect downside coming through. Maybe we even come down and test new bear market lows for Bitcoin after seeing this dump. We shall see. In terms of the chart pattern I'm looking for here, guys, in terms of the swing trade strategy that I'm using here, you can see we've got a lovely move to the upside around 28% and 25% to the downside. The measure move, unfortunately, is all the way down to 11,500 if we see Genesis file for bankruptcy, then I do think we are going to see a massive dump in the crypto space because we know obviously now big Genesis is as well. We know BlockFi has gone under as well. So please be aware, guys, if any of this stuff actually comes out in the news in the next sort of three, four, five days or so, the dumps are going to be disgusting. They're going to be absolutely disgusting. So please be aware for that, guys. Another thing I do want to say, we do have a bullish divergence coming through on the RSI. Uh, for uh, for Bitcoin here on the weekly. So that's very interesting stuff because that's obviously meaning that we're going to have some bullish momentum. But to be honest with you, at this point in time, with the fundamental side behind crypto, we're more fundamentally trading at this point in time, guys. TA, yes, good and well. It does work really well. But when you've got such big things coming through, like Black Swan events, like the Lunar Crash, like the like the um, FBF scenario, the FTX scenario, when, when you're seeing all these fundamentals coming out in the news, the Black Swan events, this really kind of destroys TA. <laughs> it kind of destroys TA. Um, so yeah, please keep that in mind, guys, for when you are when you are trading, okay? But yeah, that's going to be it from me, guys. Thank you ever so much for watching. I do appreciate it. And make sure you drop down to the comment section, leave a comment, leave a like, and um, you'll be entered into the giveaway. And also, guys, if you are looking for an exchange to trade, jump to BitGet as well. You can get a $4,163 bonus if you use that link. And also, I would recommend signing up to all of these exchanges, guys. All of these exchanges. The reasoning for this is I'm not here to just show you exchanges, um, but it's because you want to be diversifying your portfolio across multiple exchanges because if one of these exchanges are to go down and we are to see a massive crash, another Black Swan event, I mean, look at FTX, one of the leading exchanges in the world, boom, gone. If you're going to see that happen to KuCoin, if you're going to see it happen to any, any major exchange, you want to have your portfolio diversified across many exchanges so you don't get stung, okay? As hard anyway. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for me, guys. Thank you ever so much for watching. I do appreciate it. I will see you in the next one. But for now, it's going to be peace out.